Hey guys, so synthetic data generation has become quite exciting these days and with all the AI tools and frameworks that we have, generating synthetic data has become quite easy. And uh, uh, if you don't know what is synthetic data, synthetic data is basically a made up data or you can call it as an artificial data generated by computers, uh, which you can use it for uh, to do you know data analysis, uh, data exploration and uh, to do uh, some predictive analysis and all that. Uh, so in, in, in the institutions like financial institutions in healthcare sector or in the government sector, getting the real data is very hard because of all the security reasons. Uh, that's where we need to generate synthetic data and uh, which you can generate and feed it again to the machines for basically to do a uh, lot of machine learning activities, right? Uh, so today we're going to see how we can build simple, uh, you know, uh, we can do simple synthetic data generation uh, using uh, Langchain library. If you don't know what is Langchain, Langchain is basically uh, a, a open source an open source AI framework which you can use to build uh, LLM powered applications, uh, which has many tools integrated. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Um, synthetic data generation. Um, basically, I'm using single stores notebook feature. Um, it's um, it's free to use. Uh, so you can also use go to singlestore.com, sign up and uh, go to Data Studio, create your new notebook and start from there. So let's set up. Uh, we need uh, Langchain and OpenAI. Uh, we are installing that. And then we are importing um, some libraries and then we'll define the model. Basically, every data set has a structure or a, what we call schema. Uh, here also the transaction record class below uh, serves as our schema for the synthetic data gen generation. So by defining this, uh, we are informing our synthetic data generator about the shape and structure of the data we expect, right? We are basically defining the class, the transaction ID, customer ID, uh, transaction date, payment method, <clears throat> and all that. And then uh, we are basically giving some sample data right? to guide the synthetic data generator. It's useful to provide a few real world like examples, not exactly the real uh, real world data, but kind of uh, some examples. So here we are basically giving it uh, some example of transaction ID, made up number, customer ID, transaction amount, and uh, transaction date, and payment method, whether it is done by using debit card, credit card, and all that. And then we will craft a prompt template. So Langchain has the ability to, you know, it has a lot of integrations and uh, Langchain, um, with Langchain you can uh, create a lot of uh, prompt templates, uh, right? So the generator, uh, like any other tool, needs some guidance, right? So that's where uh, we are creating a prompt template. Uh, this is our prompt template. Uh, and then we will uh, create the gen data generator. Basically, this is how we are creating a data generator and uh, then uh, generate synthetic data. The next step is to generate synthetic data. And uh, yeah, once you uh, generate that, you can see this is our data generated. We have the transaction ID, customer ID, uh, transaction amount, um, quantity, customer age, and payment method, product category, and uh, so many things, and customer location. Uh, so let's clean it up and uh, make sure uh, it looks properly. Yeah, as you can see in the table, proper table format, <clears throat> transaction ID, customer ID, transaction amount, tra tra transaction date, and all that. And uh, now that we have this uh, synthetic data generated, uh, let's use it to do a lot of data analysis and all that, to see the trends and all that, okay? As you can see, the distribution of transaction amounts, uh, how it distributed, the frequency, and uh, you can also plot you know, distribution of fraudulent versus non-fraudulent transactions. And uh, you can also see fraudulent transactions so by payment method, through which payment method, uh, there are a lot of fraudulent uh, transactions. As you can see, credit card is uh, the main thing. Credit card, next is Bitcoin. So yeah, you, you, can, you can see all this, uh, you can basically do all this analysis and uh, top 10 customer locations by number of transactions from where uh, these fraudulent uh, transactions basically happened, the location. So with that synthetic data that we generated, you can do all this analysis, right? And basically um, um, understand 
uh, how you can basically understand how this uh, data analysis works and um, basically correlate and simulate a lot of things um, and uh, use it to basically to uh, you know help your model understand uh, the patterns uh, of these fraudulent activities right um, yeah that's it for today i just wanted to show you how you can generate and use the synthetic data to do data analysis now thanks